G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of multiplying a method of multiplication called the sliding method of multiplication. It's a pretty cool method, so I'll show you straight away how to do it. I'm going to start off fairly easy and get a little bit harder. Probably you'll start to practicing these yourself um, on some of the questions that we have. And that's what I recommend you do. Um, so let's start off. I'll show you how to do this on a very really easy question. So say we had something like 321 and I want to multiply this by 12. Okay, I've purposely chosen really low numbers at the moment just to start us off. So the way we do this is as follows. I choose one of the numbers. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose the smaller of numbers, um, or the one with less digits, which is 12, and I'm going to reverse the digits on it. What I mean by that is 12 becomes 21. And I'm going to start sliding this under this three-digit number here, this 321, and directly multiplying to get our answer. You'll see what I mean. So I'll move this, and I'll move it over here. Okay, and I'll start directly multiplying down. Okay, so I've started sliding it along, and the first place it's hit is where these two line up. Okay, so 3 times 1 is 3. Now I slide it along to the next position. Okay, and we're going to now multiply this number by this number directly down, and this number by this number, and get our two answers and add them together to get our digit here. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 times 1, which is 2. So 6 plus 2, we have 8. Okay, move it across one more time. Okay, and now we directly multiply again. We have 2 times 2, which is 4, 1 times 1, which is 1, so 4 plus 1 is 5. And we slide it across one more time, and we end up with 1 times 2, which is 2. So our answer, 3,852. Okay, and this is the last position, because if I slide it off anymore, it's no longer going to be underneath it. Pretty cool method, right? So what about we have a look about how we uh, go with a bit of a harder number? Because some of these actually involve carrying and that sort of deal. Nothing too major, okay? So <laughs> what about we have something like, uh, again, a, a bit of a bigger number, 321 times 14. Again, fairly basic numbers, but just to see what happens when we have carrying, maybe you want to give this a bit of a go and you can probably work out what will happen. So when we get the carrying, okay, so first off we reverse one of these numbers, 41, and now we're going to start sliding it beneath, okay, this other number. Okay, so sliding in the first place it hits is here, where they get directly underneath each other. So 3 times 1 is 3. We slide it to the next position. We're going to end up with 3 times 4, which is 12, plus 2 times 1, which is 2, so 12 plus 2, which is 14. So I'm going to put the 4 down here, and I'm going to carry my 1 over here. So 3 plus 1, our answer's in here going to become a 4. Okay, we slide it to the next position. We have 2 times 4, which is 8, 1 times 1, which is 1, so 8 plus 1 is 9. And now we slide it into this last position, where we get 1 times 4, which is 4. Our answer, 4,494. Okay, this is a, a, not a bad method. It's, it's fairly easy if you use sort of two pieces of paper to do this. Okay, um, anyway, what about, <laughs> what about you give this one a go? This one's going to be a little bit harder still, okay? We'll go, again, low, some low numbers, 301 and we're going to multiply this by 34. There will be some carrying here, okay? So remember the first thing you do is this becomes 43. And now you're going to slide this through. Maybe you want to see how you go with it before you uh, see how I'm going to do it now, okay? So 3 times 3 is 9. Slide the next one across. 4 times 3 is, is 12 plus 0. So I'm going to put the 2 here and I'm going to carry that 1. So 1 plus 9, this is going to become a 10. We slide it to the next position. OK. 0 plus 3, we get 3. Slide it to the next position. And we have 4 times 1, which is 4. Our answer, 10,234. Okay, what about one last example here? Tell you what, this one's going to be a bit of a doozy. You are going to get a bit of a, a bit of further uh, carrying and that sort of deal where you have to carry things multiply across, okay? Um, we'll do 
524 times 21. Okay, and now let's multiply this. So first thing you do is this becomes a 12 and we're going to start sliding this underneath. Okay, the first place it hits is here. 5 times 2 is 10. Slide it to the next position. Oops, slide it to the next position. Okay, we get this here. 5 plus 4 is 9. Okay, there's been no carrying yet. It's pretty easy, right? Oops, that's a bit of a mistake. I'll get rid of that. Uh, and we'll slide to the next position. Okay. So we have 2 plus 8. So what 2 times 1? And 4 times 2. So we have 2 plus 8. Now if we do that we're going to get 10. So to do this, if I'm going to put the 0 part of it down here, and I'd move the 1 over here, and 9 plus 1 is 10. So what you're going to see is I'll have to put that 0 part of that 10 there and move that next one across even further. So 1 plus 0 is 0. And now we're just going to slide to the last position. 4 times 1, we get the answer of 4. Our answer, 11,004. So what did you think of that? Did you like that method of multiplication? I think it's pretty cool. I don't think it's necessarily the fastest method of multiplication. But I must say it does... I've got a faster method that I, I tend to use, um, but I think this one's fairly good for just keeping things nice and ordered and not having a huge amount of things you have to write down. So I think it's not a terrible method of multiplication, but you do have to use two pieces of paper, so that might infuriate a few people. Okay, I'm sure I'll get a few people. And I'll put that in the comments. Anyway, hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video. Hopefully that was something new that you didn't know how to do. Look forward to speaking to you next time. See you later. Bye.